Today, we're going to be putting together a recirculating upgrade kit for one of our media reactors. In addition to the upgrade parts, you'll need some Teflon tape, an adjustable wrench, and a measuring tape. First, we're going to remove the lid from the media reactor and take the down tube assembly off. On the MR5, we're going to remove the straight barb fitting and use this in the new lid. For the MR10 and MR16, you can skip this step. The recirculating upgrade kit comes with a new lid. You're going to need to remove the protective paper from this. Now, wrap your threaded fittings with Teflon tape. There's a groove in the lid. Make sure it is facing down. Go ahead and screw in your threaded fittings so they are flush to the lid. Now, you're going to take the black tubing and cut it to length. The measurements are listed for each size reactor in the bill of materials. Take the longest tube and put it on the barb that is offset to the side. The next longest piece of tubing goes to the middle barb. The other ends of the tubing go through the support holes in the lid. You want to pull the tubing through, leaving a nice smooth arc above the lid with no kinks. Take one of the valves and attach to the shorter section of the tube that comes through the lid. Then add one of the small pieces of tubing and slide on a T. Let's get our pump ready for installation. First, remove the cover, which consists of two parts. Take the barb fittings and put the o-rings on them. Now, we're going to take the volute cover and remove the center from it. Place this over the intake barb and screw it on. Now, we're going to take one of the short sections of tubing. Place it on the T. Slide one of your tube clamps over the barb and push on your pump. Tighten up your clamp. Place the other clamp on the intake barb of the pump. Then add another short section of tubing, then the T, and make the connection to the long section of tube that comes through the support hole.
Finally, add the last section of tubing that will go to the valve. The MR10 and MR16 use an additional adapter fitting to reduce the recirculation tubing down to half an inch. That is shown in the assembly drawings for those products. Let's get the down tube ready. Remove the top media plate and set aside. Place the new rigid screen on the down tube and then the new coupling. All that's left is to screw on the new down tube assembly and place a short section of tubing that is connected to the bleed valve onto the lid. Now attach this to the reactor. We hope that you found this instructional video helpful and if you haven't already give us a like and subscribe to our channel.